Vakam Muhammad Abdul Kader Mulavi, the 28th of December 1873, the 28th of December 1873, the 31st of October 1932, the 31st of October 1932, popularly known as Vakam Mulavi, was a social reformer, teacher, prolific writer, Muslim scholar, journalist, freedom fighter, and newspaper proprietor in Travancore, a princely state of the present-day Kerala, India. He was the founder and publisher of the newspaper Swadeshabimani which was banned and confiscated by the government of Travancore in 1910 due to its criticisms against the government and the Dewan of Travancore, P. Rajagopalachari. <laughs> Early life and family Mulavi was born in 1873 in Vakam, Chirayankal Talak, Tiruvanantapuram in Travancore. He was born into a prominent Muslim family Poonthran which had ancestral roots to Madurai and Hyderabad, and many of his maternal ancestors worked for the military of the state government. His father, a prominent merchant, engaged a number of scholars from distant places, including an itinerant Arab savant, to teach him every subject he wished to learn. Mulavi made such rapid progress, that some of his teachers soon found that their stock of knowledge was exhausted and at least one of them admitted that had learned from his student more than he could teach him. In a short time, Mulavi had learnt many languages including Arabic, Persian, Urdu, Tamil, Sanskrit and English. In early 1900s, Mulavi was married to Halima, daughter of Aliyar Kunju Punthran Valakam and Pathama Kayalparam. Mulavi, Halima couple had one son Abdul Salam. Halima died soon after the birth of their first child. A year later, Mulavi married Amina Umal. The couple had ten children, includes Abdul Hai, Abdul Vahab, Abdul Kader Jr. Abdul Haq, Obaidullah, Amina, Yahya, Sakina, Muhammad Iza and Muhammad Iqbal. His sons, Abdul Salam, Abdul Vahab and Muhammad Iza were writers and scholars of Islamic studies, and Abdul Kader Jr. was a writer, literary critic and journalist. One of his nephews, Vakam Majid, was an Indian freedom fighter and a former member of Travancore Cochin State Assembly and another nephew, P. Habib Muhammad, was the first Muslim judge of the Travancore High Court of Kerala. His disciples included K. M. Sithi Sahib, the former Speaker of Kerala Legislative Assembly and a social reformer among Kerala Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> Journalism and Swadeshabimani Malavi started the Swadeshabimani newspaper on 19 January 1905, declaring that the paper will not hesitate to expose injustices to the people in any form, but on 26 September 1910, the newspaper and press were sealed and confiscated by the British police, and the editor Ramakrishna Pillai was arrested and banished from Travancore to Tirunelveli. After the confiscation of the press, Mulavi concentrated more on social and cultural activities, becoming a social leader, also writing several books. Dasaba and Islam Matha Siddhantha Samgram are original works, while Imam Ghazali's Kimia e Sadat, Alu Sunnathawal Jamath, Islamic Sandesim, Surat al Fatiha are translations. <laughs> <laughs> Social Reformation Mulavi is considered as one of the greatest reformers in the Kerala Muslim community, and is sometimes referred to as the father of Muslim renaissance. He emphasized the religious and socio-economic aspects much more than the ritualistic aspects of religion. He also campaigned for the need for modern education, the education of women, and the elimination of potentially bad customs among the Muslim community. Influenced by the writings of Muhammad Abdu of Egypt and his reform movement, Mulavi started journals in Arabi Malayalam and in Malayalam modeled on Al-Manar. The Muslim was launched in January 1906 and was followed by Al Islam 1918 and Deepika 1931. Through these publications, he tried to teach the Muslim community about the basic tenets of Islam. Al Islam began publishing in April 1918 and played a pivotal role in Muslim Renaissance in Kerala. It opposed Nurchus and Ruse festivals amongst the Muslim community, thereby attracting opposition from the Orthodox ulema to the extent that they issued a fatwa declaring the reading of it as sacrilege. Financial troubles and lack of readership led to the closure of the journal within five issues, but it is regarded as the pioneer journal that attempted religious reform amongst the Mapillas of Kerala. 
While it was published in Malayalam language using Arabi Malayalam script, Muslim and Deepika used Malayalam in script also. As a result of the continuous campaigning of Mulavi throughout the state, the Maharaja's government introduced the teaching of Arabic in all state schools where there were Muslim pupils, and offered them fee concessions and scholarships. Girls were totally exempted from payment of fees. Mulavi wrote textbooks for children to learn Arabic, and a manual for training Arabic instructors for primary schools. At the instance of Mulavi Abdul Qadir the state government soon instituted qualifying examinations for Arabic teachers of which he was made the chief examiner. There were many other dubious practices in the Muslim community of the time, such as the dowry system, extravagant expenditure on weddings, celebration of annual ors, and moharam with bizarre unislamic features bordering on idolatrous rituals. Mulavi launched his campaign against such practices with the help of his disciples, and with the cooperation of other learned men who shared his views and ideals. As the campaign developed into a powerful movement, opposition was mounted by the mullahs. Some issued fatwas that he was a kafir. Others branded him as a Wahhabi. He also tried to create unity among Muslims, starting the Al Travancore Muslim Mahahanasaba and Chirayankal Talik Muslim Samajam, and worked as the chairman of the Muslim board of the government of Travancore. His activities were further instrumental in the establishment of Muslim Ikya Sangam, a united Muslim forum in Ariad, Kodungalar for all the Muslims of the Travancore, Cochin, and Malabar regions, with K. M. Mulavi, K. M. Sithi Sahib, Manapit Kunju Muhammad Haji, and helped guide the Lajnathal Muhammadiyya Association of Alapuja, Dharma Boshini Sabah of Kolam, amongst others. In 1931, he founded the Islamia Publishing House, with his eldest son Abdul Salam supervising the translation into Malayalam and publication of Allama Shibli's biography of Omar Farooq in two volumes under the title Al Farooq. Last days In Deepika, he serialized the Malayalam translation of the Quran, together with his brief commentary and the original text written in an elegant calligraphic style by Mulavi himself. It was his life's ambition to produce a translation of the Quran in Malayalam with his own commentary, but he died on 23 August 1932 aged 59 before the work was completed. Vakam Mulavi Foundation Trust VMFT. The Vakam Mulavi Foundation Trust VMFT is intended to be a lasting memorial to Vakam Mulavi. Dr. N. A. Karim, former Pro Vice Chancellor of Kerala University is the President of the Trust and Er. A. Suhair is the Chairman and Managing Trustee. Vakam Mulavi Center for Studies and Research The Vakam Mulavi Center for Studies and Research, started in the memory of Vakam Mulavi, intends to promote the independent and liberal thinking as well as Renaissance ideals put forward by Vakam Mulavi. The center is based in Calicut. See also Swadashabimani newspaper Punthran family Justice Habib Muhammad Vakam Majid Muhammad Iza Ramakrishna Pillai Further reading Vakam Mulavi Haji M. Muhammad Kanu Vakam Mulviud Thiranjadutha Critical Vakam Malaviud Tiranyatuda Critical The Collected Works of Vakam Mulavi, Malayalam Published by Vakam Mulavi Publications, 1979 Muhammad Abdul Kader Mulavi, PG 314, Modernist Islam, 1840-1940, a sourcebook by Charles Kurzman Svatasabhimani Vakam Malavi Jivakaritram Dia Jamal Muhammad 2013, Kailikit Islamic Poblizing has Pej 216 Karatrit Samarda Atilakuna Jivakaratram by